Hello Bournemouth fans, it's Joe from Bournemouth Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Saturday the 4th of March with a 3pm kickoff as the Borough take on Reading in the Scarlet Championship at the Riverside Stadium. Well, Borough fans, um, well, recent winning one did come to an end this past weekend over at the Hawthorns where we got beat by two goals to nil at the hands of West Brom which, which was a result which was a result which did not work in our favour because Sheffield United managed to get something but, uh, like a win over at Watford but um, it was just one of those days where it just wasn't our day at all kind of similar to when, um, from when we played Sunderland away from home it just wasn't just a bad day at the office I think in my opinion we conceded two early goals in the uh, first half and it was a double from West Brom's Darrell DK who obviously was the difference maker in this one the first one looked a tiny bit offside there but when I looked in the highlights uh, both Lenahan and Giles I think were playing DK onside so uh, defensive error on their part and it was a similar defensive relapse in the second goal we just didn't manage to clear the ball away in time and uh, DK pounced on it and again Stefan could have done better um, could have parried it somewhere else but instead he fumbled it and DK pounced and made it 2-0 but we did have a couple of chances to get back in the game but uh, we just found the young West Brom goalkeeper Josh Griffiths in superb form brilliantly to deny Marcus Foss in the first half and then in the second half to deny Isaiah Jones to for us to get at least something in that game but never came and then obviously like I said Sheffield United beat Watford and obviously we have to rely on the favour now from Blackburn to order to, to get back some ground that we had lost um, from the previous weekend but again Sheffield United still got that game in hand it's going to be a massive difference um, but we're going up against a side who are a bit limbo off the field which I'll get to in a bit now, coming out of the West Brom game, um, Paddy McNair is a bit of a doubt for this game. Obviously, he suffered a uh, head injury in that West Brom game, which obviously he'll be a doubt for for this game, I, I think. But Isaiah Jones made his way back to the team after being, he became a fan for the first time. Obviously, congratulations to Isaiah and his partner and uh, their family at this time, obviously, uh, working with their newborn daughter. Um, but apart from that, obviously, the likes of Dyke Steele, Nunez, who will come back into the fold, but Carrick has stated it'll be a while before they even consider for selection. So, um, and then obviously that's it, apart from Clark's injury as well, which uh, sounds like a broken record for me to say now, of course. Um, now we're going to our opponents, Reading, who are obviously uh, having a bit of problems themselves off the field, and obviously the possibility of them having a six point deduction for the stuff going on behind the scenes over at Reading. Which is obviously not nice to see, but then again, rules are put there for a reason. At the moment, they're currently sitting 14th in the league at the minute. Um, they've been like um, on a decent run at home, but away from home, they have struggled. I don't think they've won away from home since uh, all the way back in November when they beat Hull 2 1. The record so far in the Championship this season is played 33, won 13, drawn 5, and lost 15. Now, last time out, they won at home when they beat Blackpool by three goals to one. And of course they are managed by former Borough captain Paul Ince. Um, obviously he'll be returning to the Riverside this weekend. And obviously it's good to see Ince over at the Riverside. But like I said with Reading, uh, like I said, the stuff going on behind the scenes, the possible six-point deduction, for, I think it's something to do with financial fair play rules or something to do with the owners of the club. I don't know. It's just something for the Reading fans there. I'll, I'll have to look again at their socials. Um, and obviously, um, like I said, the... Um, the recent record away from home has not been great either. I think, that, like I said, they've not won away in all competitions since all the way back in mid-November when they beat Hull City by two goals to one. And plus, they're going to this game as well on the back of uh, a few key, pretty much a, a fair, like an arm's length of key players that are currently out injured or doubtful. Obviously, uh, Joe Lumley, who is on loan at Reading from Borough, obviously won't be able to play against us because of the terms of his loan deal. Uh, so I think their second choice goalkeeper Dean Bozanis will be in goal for this one again I think. Because obviously he played against us in the reverse fixture which I'll get to shortly. But what to watch out for, uh, first to watch out for, one sticks out top of my mind obviously uh, Thomas Sins. Obviously uh, his dad's their manager, <laughs> his, uh, his, his manager is obviously his dad at, at the moment. And since then, um, for the last couple of years I think Thomas Sins has been... Um, in and around various clubs but struggle to perform but obviously with his dad now at the helm at Reading he's picking up you know where he was where he was picking up where he was where he was at Blackpool etc um 
and all those years ago. And obviously you've got the likes of Andy Carroll as well, who's going to be a constant threat, as we know. Um, Yakubete, who's uh, one of their key players as well, who we got to watch out for as well. Uh, you've got the likes of, in the defence, you've got the likes of Naby Sarr, Tom McIntyre. Um, yeah, I've got a pretty good squad. Obviously, they've been depleted, obviously. Transfer embargoes, obviously, becoming points deduction that the company have uh, up in their heads at the minute. And they're struggling away from home. So, hopefully, we must have taken advantage of um, this coming Saturday. Um, obviously, last time we played Reading was obviously uh, back in August over at the Select Carnies in Stadium, where they beat us by one goal to nil, unfortunately. Um, Tyrese Fauna getting the only goal of the game that day. So, but hopefully, you know. Our record against Reading at the Riverside has been good. Um, I think the last time they beat us at the Riverside was all the way back in 2014. So we've got to this game, obviously, for the, um, on the back of a defeat. Hopefully we can get back to winning ways on Saturday to hopefully gain some ground back. Um, the pressure on the automatics, but hopefully you don't think it's crossed. We're hoping for a favour from uh, Blackburn, obviously, yeah, keeping Sheffield United a bit, but... We'll see what comes out, Borough fans. Uh, leave your thoughts and, and predictions uh, in the comment section below, Borough fans. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Our social media links will be in the description as well. And until then, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV and I'll see you on the next match preview video, which will be for the game on Saturday the 11th of March, I do believe, as Borough head back out on the road as we head to the Swansea.com stadium to face Swansea City. Until then, Borough fans, take care, stay safe and up the Borough.